What's up beautiful people? It's your girl Christy Mack and I'm back with another video. Today makes five months guys. Five months since I got my kidney transplant. And to be honest with you, I felt like I should be a whole lot happier. I am totally grateful that I'm alive, I'm thriving and everything's going so well. But there's been so many difficulties going on with life to just dealing with the pandemic, just dealing with all the craziness going on in the world. It just becomes overwhelming where I feel like my day is not as enjoyable as I want it to be, but it's okay. I'm grateful. So today I'm gonna just kind of go over what has been going on with me since, you know, I hit the five month mark, just to kind of give somebody else an insight. Um, so just to give you a little bit of hope as well too. So if you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, What's up? Take a moment and hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you've done that, welcome to the family. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, I have to say the first thing that I am doing is I am still continuing to work out. I am still walking on my daily walks. And to be honest, I've been probably doing it six to seven times out of the week. I try, I don't matter how I feel, I try. Even if it's 15 minutes, an hour, it just depends on the type of day, but at least I get up, I put my shoes on, and I get to walking. So I'm really proud of myself because before the transplant, I really wasn't too much of an active person. You know, I'll exercise once in a while, but now I'm like really on it. I am really trying because I realized that health is wealth. And if I don't have good health, I have nothing. Just being on that dialysis chair for as long as I did, it really did something to my mind, my body, damn, my soul. And I just know that I don't wanna go backwards. I don't wanna get back there. And sometimes things happen where you may need to go back because you know, you may need to get another transplant. You know, things can happen. But I'm trying my best to avoid it. So I'm working out more. Um, I'm still not lifting or doing anything like that, but I am staying active just to keep everything flowing right. And so the second thing that I've been experiencing is back to having pain on my side. So it's not as common as it was. I know in my last video I told you guys all the pain went away, everything was great, but it came back again. And so there were some nights, like if I'm sitting in my bed and I'm reading or I'm doing something, I will start to feel the pain on my side. And it's like a constant pain and it hurts, you know? And I'm wondering, you know, is it my bladder? Do I need to use the bathroom? No, it's just a little bit of pain and it's very uncomfortable. And so I just kind of deal with it. Um, as of today, I'm not feeling anything today, but there has been a couple of days where it was painful. It was excruciating pain, actually. Sometimes I'll just put an ice pack there or maybe a little bit of heat. I know that's probably not the best thing, but it would help soothe that pain away. Or just go to sleep and just wait for the next day and it'll just all go away. But those are some of the things that I have been experiencing so far. So the third thing that I've been experiencing is lots of lip peel. I don't know what's going on, but my lips, I don't know if it's from the medications. I'm starting to wonder, is it the medications? Because my lips, right now, they're good. I have lip gloss on. But usually, they're peeling on the bottom and on the top. And so, I don't know what's going on, but I'm seeing a lot more of the lip peeling. And that could have an effect with maybe going up in my prograph. So that's gonna be the fourth thing. We went up in the prograph. So I'm at um, nine now. When I first started off, I think I was at five. Now I'm at nine. And every time I go up, I seem to get more side effects just in the beginning stages. So a lot more lip peeling is what's been going on. But yeah, so my prograph, you know, it adjusts month to month. I have no control over that. So right now, I am taking nine of those little pills. You know, it's one milligram. So now I think that the pharmacy is actually sending me pills that are a little bit more like five and then small little ones to go along with it just so I don't have to sit here and swallow nine little pills each day. Twice a day, actually. <laughs> so the next thing I have been experiencing is ear pain. Again, I don't know if it's from the medication or not, but I've been getting a lot of pains in my ear where the point where I think I thought I had an ear infection, but it's not. It will jump from one ear to the next. It's a little odd. It's mysterious. Doctors don't know why. I don't know why. I just know that's one of the symptoms that I've been experiencing lately. 
So now that we're in the summertime, oh, when I say my allergies have been on level 10, I mean to the point where I think right here, right now, my nose bridge hurts. All hair hurts. Um, I had a cold. I was really nervous, guys. So I got a cold out of nowhere. And I understand my, you know, my immune system is suppressed, so I'm more likely to catch things. But I was freaking out. So I got a cold, and the first thing I thought about was, damn, do I got corona? Like, I was really sick. I wasn't feeling good, but I didn't have none of the major symptoms that most people were talking about. So I just, you know, drank my tea, um, took little things to get better, and that cold did go away. But then I realized, I don't really think it was cold because I deal with allergies really bad and sinus issues. And so once I took something for that, that went away. And so I've just been trying to, you know, control, you know, washing my hands and just keeping things clean around my house just to eliminate the germs as much as possible because my immune system is not good at all. I'm also still not taking the Bella. I have not gone to the hospital. Um, I told you guys in the previous video, all my summer appointments are officially canceled. They won't be starting the Bella infusion probably until the fall. And to be honest, the way that the news is speaking, like this can pick up, the whole corona stuff can pick up again. I really don't even know when I'm gonna get the Bella. So because I can't get the Bella, I can't get off a Prograph. And Prograph, I'm supposed to be getting off at nine months, I believe. But right now, doctors are going to be extending that because I have not been consistent with the Bella because I can't go to the hospital. Okay, so let's talk about some of the fun stuff that's actually been happening. So you guys know, we were on quarantine, couldn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything. Ever since I came home from my transplant, I've just been feeling like I've been living in a cage. Four by four, just my house. I don't go visit nobody. I haven't gone to no friends, not even to my family's house, nowhere. And I just stay home in my little bubble. That's what it feels like. And it's starting to get to me. So my mom is gonna be moving closer to me and I'm so happy about that. Just to have that family support is amazing. So she's uprooting her whole life just to be closer to me and my kids. And I love you, mom. But I actually went to visit my mom for the first time in a long time. She's been quarantining herself and she's been, you know, making sure that she doesn't get sick so she doesn't bring anything to me. So my kids wanted to go see her. So we went down to visit my mom and I drove. Let me tell you guys how big that is because I have not driven in months literally months, probably way before the transplant. My husband takes me to all my doctor's appointments. He does everything for me. So I told him I wanna drive. Man, he was terrified. So since the transplant, he hasn't seen me driven. He's like, do you even remember how to drive? Come on, it's like a bicycle. Of course you remember how to drive. So I drove from my house all the way to the border of Florida. And it was an amazing feeling just to know that I was able to handle the wheel still. Y'all, your girl was still able to ride out. And so I drove for those hours. I was even a little nervous, I didn't wanna tell him, but I just wanted to have that independence back. Because like I said, being stuck on a dialysis chair for so long and everybody catering to you, you kind of feel like you lose your independence. And I felt so great being able to do that. I drove. And then when we were coming back, I drove from Florida to the Georgia borderline. And I know he loves that because he's not used to me driving at all, so he was able to sit back and relax. So that was something major that happened in my fifth month of my recovery. So the next thing is I'm not gaining any weight. You guys, I'm gonna tell you, I eat all the time. For some reason, the medications make me feel hungry all the time, so I'm constantly eating. But for some reason, I feel like I'm at a plateau because I'm not gaining and I'm not losing. I've just been constant for this whole month. And I don't know why. I've been increasing what I'm eating, but lately I've kind of changed my diet a little bit. I'm trying to take out, you know, not eating so much meat because it's just not healthy. Yes, I got a new kidney, things are back to normal, but I want to preserve what I have. I try to eat more fish than chicken. I'm trying to change up my diet a little bit. I don't know if that has an effect, but I really think because I've been walking and exercising on a daily basis could be why I'm not gaining the weight that I need to gain. So if you got any weight gaining tips, leave them in the bottom because your girl needs to gain some more weight. So you guys know I had lost my hair and my hair was growing back. I was so excited about my last video. I was saying that my hair is growing back. And the previous video before this, you guys actually saw my hair, my natural hair in a high ponytail. And 
I am so happy. So after my video for last month, I had an aunt that called me and she is a beautician in New York and she basically told me exactly what I needed to do. She told me to get some vitamin E oil and some olive oil, mix it in a bottle and use that on my scalp every night. And ever since I've been doing that, my hair has been flourishing. So I have to say thank you to my aunt. Um, she helped me with that little regimen and she just laid out a regimen for me to do and it's been thriving. My hair is like nice, it's thick, it's shiny, and I'm loving it. And I'm just gonna continue to nurture it so it can grow back to where it was way before the transplant dialysis and even in the lupus stages. So the quote of the day is, gratitude turns what we have into enough. And that just touches me so deeply because yes, you know, I am at my five month mark, but I am so content in where I'm at. I'm so content with me, my business, everything that's been going on. I'm just grateful. There are nights where I just lay, I look at my husband, I may touch him, and I'm just like, wow, there was a time where I really truly thought I was not gonna be here to see this or my children. And I'm here, and you know, the little things in life, we just have to learn to brush off because it's not worth it. The arguments, the fights, the stress, it's not worth it. The fact that I'm alive and I'm able to see my five month mark, that is all that matters in my life right now. That is it. I am grateful for each and every person that has subscribed to my channel, that has been joining me on this journey, all the comments in all the you know kidney disease groups, lupus groups. I just wanna say that I appreciate your support. It's not easy. Not for me, but I know it's not easy for you as well. We just gotta continue to keep hope alive and just know that, you know, like I always say, better days will come. And I'm a proven example of this. Just because I know what it felt like to be on dialysis and now I know what it feels like to get a transplant. And that to this is my better day and I'm so grateful for it. I'm just so happy to be alive and I hope you guys can feel that through this video. You know, I was given a second chance at life and I am going to make the best out of it and I hope you guys do as well too. So no matter what you're facing in life, brush it off because it's not worth it. The only thing that's worth us fighting for is living at this point. All right guys, thank you guys for watching this video today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join the family, join me. I do a video every Wednesday and every Sunday to support this community. I just wanna tell you guys that I love and I appreciate you. See you guys on the next video.